everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Today, what we're gonna do is showcase the Salty PDL and its speed. It's the main reason why I decided to purchase this kayak. She boasts great numbers whenever I tried her out, and today I wanna share with each and every one of y'all out there who is curious about how fast she's capable of going. So after doing a search on YouTube, I could not find anything. Some people talked about the speed, but they truly didn't capture the essence of how fast you're going. So what I have done is collect a series of like fishing trips. I tested her out in all types of conditions as it pertains to Texas inshore fishing, high winds, in the intercoastal with currents like going with the current going against the current going into a headwind going with the wind and uh, i think y'all are going to be surprised on just how fast this girl can cruise so without further ado let's get started all right y'all quick update we haven't uh, caught any <laughs> we haven't caught anything else but what i want to do is uh what I've always been wanting to do, show y'all why I wanted to go with this kayak right here. I'm gonna do a little speed test. Gonna pull out the phone. Let's open up our speed app and let's see what we're gonna, here we go, right there, speedometer. I'm gonna show y'all why it is that I wanted this. So I'm barely pedaling right now. We're two right, right there at three. Now, whenever I uh, get against this bank, it'll give you some kind of like uh, fixed point to see how fast we are truly going, not just relying on the speed app, but uh, here we go. Let's uh, line ourselves up. Don't wanna get too close and run, run into anything, but here we go. Now I'm gonna really give her everything I got. Four miles an hour, five. And we're going into the wind, mind ya. So five miles an hour. Not bad. How long can I sustain it? Let's see. Legs are starting to get tired. Man, I really would have loved to have broke that six mile an hour mark. Whew. Yeah. And uh, we definitely covered some ground. I am winded. Now let's go with the wind. All right, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still winded. But just to show y'all, we do have a full load. I got my camera, all my fishing equipment, tackle trays, boga, everything that I would come out here with fishing. This isn't just some empty kayak trying to, uh, me trying to show it off. I mean, I am trying to show it off. Show the reason why I decided to go with it. Oh, wow, I'm trying to catch my breath. I am out of shape and was in desperate need of one of the pedal drives, in particular the PDL drive. Whew. All right, here we go. With the wind, easy six miles an hour, man. Seven, six. Oh. So we got seven really fast. That was like max speed. I am seriously winded. But yeah, um, five miles an hour for sure with the wind. Definitely fast enough for me. 
a whole heck of a lot faster than the uh, the autopilot. Whew. I'm gonna catch my breath now. Alrighty, y'all. It is time to pull the phone out and do round number two on speed test. Where is it at? Right here, speedometer. Hopefully y'all can see that on the GoPro. Let's put this in the back because we don't want nobody flying off. We're gonna hit mock speed today. Let's see how fast we can go in a protected bayou and go. Three, I mean, it jumps up really fast. Four miles an hour, five miles an hour. So five seems to be the, the deal. There's six. We're generating some torque. I mean, you really have to thrust it in order to hit that six and seven mile an hour mark. Yeah, five, that's good. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're gonna try some different conditions. Speed test right now. Let's get the speed app opened up. We've got some uh, outgoing tide conditions against us here. Let me show y'all that. Uh, where tide alert. Right there, we're right at the peak of high tide and now it's outgoing. So let's see how fast we can go against outgoing tide. And here we go, we're, we're cruising at four miles an hour, super easy. Look at that, seven miles an hour, six miles an hour. This is me sprinting. I could not sustain this, but like maybe five, actually five minutes is overdoing it. Uh, definitely going fast. I'm gonna slow down because I don't wanna tire myself out. But I mean, just at a, a nice cruise, four, five miles an hour, not bad. But I'm gonna double back around and uh, catch up with my partner back there. Alrighty, y'all, we are going against the current right now and a 10 mile an hour. Well, let's check the wind, right? Let's see, what, what is the wind doing? The wind's 15 miles an hour from the southwest, so that's a headwind coming straight at us. 15 miles an hour, and let's see what the current is doing as far as the tide. Outgoing tide, that's gotta be wrong because it feels like we're, uh, we're going against the tide. At least the tidal movement was still going into the marsh as soon as we left it, and that was about five minutes ago. Either way, 15 mile an hour headwind. Let's see what we're cruising at right now. Two miles an hour, three, easily three miles an hour. And then if I was to give it a burst of speed, two, three, somewhere around there, probably four, maybe five, something like that. It's gonna get splashy, four miles an hour against some pretty high winds. There we are at five. Now, if I had somewhere to be in a hurry, I could sustain this four or five mile an hour pace for approximately 15 minutes, I'm gonna say, taking into consideration that I haven't ran or jogged in a long time. But if you had to go somewhere in a hurry, those are the speeds that you could expect. Okay, y'all, we are back in the intercoastal. Let's do another speed trial test run right there. I'm barely just like moseying along and two, three miles an hour. Let's see what the tide is doing, even though I know it's gonna be wrong. It says outgoing tide, it does not feel like that, just the way it was last time. And let's get back over here. So, uh, we're going against the wind right now. Let's see what the wind is doing. Kind of show y'all that. It's coming in out of the south, southeast. Right now, let's see. South at 10 miles an hour. And it's showing me six miles an hour from like just straight south. So that's a headwind coming straight at us. 
by the way we're uh, moving in this intercoastal and let's see how fast we can go and for how long I can sustain it one way or another <laughs> I'm gonna get like super healthy from getting all this cardio exercise on a full load in the kayak and uh, here we go so this right here is a nice cruising speed I could probably sustain this until we get all the way back to the boat ramp which is approximately maybe one and three quarters of a mile it'd be no problem sustaining this and I think the majority of all kayaks usually travel at about three miles an hour with pedal drives and if you don't travel that fast with a pedal drive well then something's probably wrong you're either overloaded the kayak is poorly designed or uh, you're in bad health <laughs> but uh, yeah this right here easy peasy let's get up to about four miles an hour see how much strain that's going to cause okay that right there if I had somewhere to go, like the way I said the other day, if I had to be somewhere in a hurry, like the wife just called and said, you need to get home now. Like why? Because I made enchiladas. Then I'd probably be cruising at about four miles an hour. But if she makes the extra special ones, then we're gonna cruise at about five because we need to burn the calories now and make up for them tonight. Let's see, all right trying to get to five it feels like we're going against the tide all right man here we go dude okay there goes five yeah I would not be able to sustain five miles an hour right now I'm more than sure that that tide is incoming not outgoing and then just to show you all the difference, I'm going to turn around and head back to Christian. I'm winded already. We're still going four miles an hour, but let's turn around, head back to him, and we'll have the wind in our favor, plus the tidal movement. Here we go. Why am I doing this and wasting precious energy? Well, because I care about y'all. Here we go. See, five, super easy. Yeah, steady five. There's six. Yeah, it'd be pretty easy, y'all. So it's all depending on like tidal movement, the current, the wind direction. It all plays a, a big role. But nonetheless, I absolutely love being able to move faster than three mile, anywhere from two and a half to three miles an hour. Whew, I gotta catch my breath. All right, speed test, because I am straining really tough to uh, get through this bayou right now. It's an outgoing tide and I'm straining. We've got some pretty crazy movement and by the sound of my voice you can hear that I'm strained Whew, I'm winded three four miles an hour mosquitoes are pretty bad I'm trying to hurry up and get all the way to the back lake before that Sun comes up four miles an hour against the tidal current Oh, I hope we find them back there, y'all. This is pretty much what I've been sustaining right now, and I gotta do it for two miles. If I were to go with this tidal current out of the marsh system, I'm pretty sure we'd be going pretty fast right now. My guess is like five for sure, because we're three, four right now. And when I can just cruise steadily without getting winded with the current, usually I'm four or five, somewhere around there. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for speed test today. All of these uh, speeds that we're getting, they, they just vary from three miles an hour onwards to five. 
I can hit that six and seven mark, but I can't sustain it for too long. So, yeah, I think we're gonna settle this one from now, from here forward. And uh, safe to say that three miles an hour is cruising speed. Let's just say three, four is cruising speed. And then five, six, maybe seven is like a, just a quick sprint to get from A to B because you saw a blow up. <laughs> okay, let's put this away, catch my breath, concentrate on uh, pedaling. And that concludes our speed testing of the Salty PDL. One of the things that I found was that once you hit that five mile an hour mark, you can sustain that, but trying to get into the six, maybe even seven mile an hour threshold, you're only gonna be able to like break it and then immediately drop back down to five, maybe even four. I think it's probably has a lot to do with the prop, the way it's designed. It creates a lot of drag and there's just no way around it because that fixed like fan, the prop, it, it's uh, the water has consistently trying to go against it. And in order to achieve or maybe even sustain the six, maybe seven mile an hour speed limits, you're gonna have to change the gearing in the PDL drive for something that's a little bit easier to pedal with and stay at that speed. But when you do that, you're probably gonna lose your like low end speed for cruising. So you take some to give some. Nonetheless, the Salty is crazy fast in comparison to some of the other kayaks that I have pedaled. And in going with ease, four miles an hour, it, that right there, I, it opens up being able to get to my fishing grounds a lot faster than what I was able to do. So I'm just completely happy with the results that it gives me and it's the main reason on why I purchased the Salty. She pushed poles exceptionally well in the shallow water. You can get into some really skinny stuff. Several trips, actually more than several trips, underneath my belt with her already in the back lakes push pulling, and I'm very impressed with what she's capable of doing. The one thing that, well, we'll save those things for a later video on what I absolutely dislike about the Salty. But we're gonna end this one on a positive note. She is crazy fast. If you're looking to get into something that's fast, well, look no further than that Salty. All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my video description down below. There's a lot of links that will take you to where you can read about the kayak itself. There's also discount links from my sponsors of the channel. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.